Jabali Upanishad The sage Pipalada approached sage Jabali and asked him, O oh, godlike sage, please teach me the secret of the absolute philosophy. What is Tattva? Who is Jiva? What is Pashu? Who is Ishvara? And what is the method for salvation? Thus asked, Sage Jabali explained to him everything as follows. Jiva is nothing but God, the Lord of all beings, Pashupati himself, who is acting the role of egoism. That Jiva is the Pashu. Pashupati is he who knows everything, who does the five jobs like creation, and who is the Lord of all beings. Pashu in common parlance are those animals which eat grass, which do not have viveka, that is, the knowledge to differentiate, which are driven by others, which are made to work in jobs like agriculture, and which undergo lot of suffering. Similar to the owner of such animals is the god Pashupati, who rules over all beings. To the question, what trick is there to acquire such knowledge? Jabali replied, by wearing of the holy ash, he further told, after taking the holy ash in hand, by reciting the five Brahma mantras, starting with Satyojatam and chanting Agniriti Bhasma, mix it with water by chanting Manastoke, and then wear the holy ash in head forehead and shoulders in sets of three lines chanting the three mantras Trayayusham Further, wear these by chanting the three mantras starting with Trayayusham and the mantra Trimbakam is called Sambhava Penance Those with the knowledge of Veda say that this has been told in all Vedas for avoiding rebirth, the people with eternal wisdom should adopt this. Among the three lines, the first one is Garapatya, the domestic fire. The letter A, the quality of Rajas, Earth, Jivatma, the power of creation, Rigveda, time of dawn and its god is Lord Brahma. The second line is Dakshinagni, the letter U, quality of Sattva, atmosphere, the soul inside the body, the power of desire, Yajurveda, the time of noon, and its god is Lord Vishnu. The third line is the Ahavani Agni, the letter Ma, the quality of Tamas, the place of gods, the Paramatma, the power of knowledge, Samveda, the time of dusk and its god is Shiva. That individual who wears holy ash, whether he is a Brahmachari or Sannyasi, gets rid of great as well as minor sins. He becomes fit to worship all gods. He becomes one who has taken bath in all holy waters and the one who has chanted all the Rudra mantras. He does not have rebirth. This Upanishad tells that 
it is sworn that he will not have rebirth. Here ends the Jabalya Upanishad included in the Sam Veda.